Hello, everybody. In this presentation, the base of this presentation is I use all your questions. I put all your questions together, and I found that the main topics, the main concern are fertilization, when, how much, and I will try to give you what is my point of view, what are the factors that we have to know before making any decision, okay? There are many, many, many factors, many factors, you know, some of them we can control, and most of them we cannot control. Mary Lou told about the temperature, it's very difficult. Probably there is a few ideas. You see over here the irrigation, try to increase humidity, reduce the effect of the temperature during flowering. Could be a good idea. But finally, it's really very, very difficult to control. In other countries, some growers are using netting, avocado with netting, try to control the condition, especially during flowering, during summer. But so far, we are not seeing good, good result. All these factors are connected, different combination, and really, we don't know what could happen with good temperature, low humidity, not enough light, irrigation, pests, control, disease, with, we know just a few things about the bee's behavior. We talk about set, we talk about pollen to grow, but what, is, what happened before that is pollination, and who is in charge of that? Bees, to start all the process, okay? And you have to keep in mind, it's really um, the other thing. Harvest, market. Really, we don't know what would happen in the market. When is the right time for harvest? What happens if, if I delay my harvest? Okay? I think we should know this before take any decision. You have to know, avocado trees grow and fruit in cycles. What does this mean? Cycles. What we do this year affect how they grow next year. If my decision is to prune now, for example, do you know what could happen next year if I prune it now? I'm taking out part of my flower. I'm removing part of my, my next crop if I prune now. But is possible to do? Yes, it's possible. Labor. Some growers, some growers have told me, you know, I have labor now, but I don't know if I will have in spring, the labor. Okay. But you have to know, we are taking now part of our next crop. But on the other hand, we have to improve the condition for flowering. Now we know, Carol, uh, uh, Mary Lou told us, shade delay the fe female flower opening. And bees don't lie fly in shape, okay? I told you, there is many, many factors, many factors, and the trees, they are taking all the signal, temperature, heat, frost, humidity, soil moisture, soil temperature, 
What is, and what is our goal? We have to try to manage all that interaction. That means a lot of information, a lot of information, okay? You have to keep records. Remember that, records, what was by fertilization, temperature during flowering, to try to understand what happened. It's very, very important. You have to know how much water you are using in one acre. You know, in Chile, in other countries, the main, the main destination of our fruit is Europe. And Europe has different kind of fruit quality certification. And one of them today, the, the people involved of that, when they visit, they are asking you about, okay, how much, how much water you are using? And in the beginning, the answer was, I'm irrigating once a week, 10 hours. And the guy said, I don't understand. What means 10 hours? Just I need liters, cubic meter, <coughs> gallon per tree, per acre, per hectare. You have to, you have to know, you have to know that. And we are Chile, we are in the, I think so far is close to 12 years under drought and it's very important for us. It's very, very important in this moment to know how much water we need to irrigate one hectare or one acre of avocado, citrus, table gray, because the situation now is very difficult, okay? And you have, to, you have to keep in mind that. What is the other thing that is very important? Appropriate times. Timely is, for me, visiting growers here, Chile, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Mexico. The time is the secret. It's important to know when I, when I have to start my pruning and when I have to finish my pruning to get all the benefit of that labor. It's very, very important. When I have to apply nitrogen or phosphorus or potassium, the other thing that you have to keep in mind, trees, must continue to increase in size to remain productive. The avocado tree, naturally, they grow. They are not thinking to get fruit. Just grow. And we need that growth. The avocado tree is growing three, four feet a year or more. And we need that growth. Why? Spring should replace the overwinter leaves. The overwinter leaves are the support during flowering. If we are seeing yellow leaves in the beginning of the flowering, we have problems. Okay? But we need the spring, the spring shoot spring flash, to compensate that. What is the other thing? Summer shoot. Important in the final fruit side and crop of the following season. If I don't have summer shoot, won't be flower the following spring. Okay? But I need first the spring shoot. I told you, the avocado growing cycles. Every cycle stimulate the following cycle. A nice spring shoot and summer shoot. 
here I put together on year and off year because I cannot see the avocado just in one year. I have to include at least three, at least three. But look what happened. If we took the flowering in our off year, for sure is high compared to the off year. And look what happened with spring shoot. Now on year, off year, can you see the difference? Probably on year is the double. And look what happened with root flush. On year, off year, the double. And for sure, the more important for us, summer should. On year, off year. Big difference. And we know, sure, we are avocado growers. We know after our own year, we are going to have a of year. That is natural. That is the way of avocado produ production. And in this in this moment, and, looking, and knowing this, we have two alternatives. Let the avocado what they want, or try to control that. Okay? My goal is help to try to control and to avoid that. But look, if during one year the main problem is few spring, few root flash, few summer, just almost nothing fall root flash compared off year location for next flower, good root flash, supporting, stimulating a very nice summer flash, okay, I can control. I can do something because I know. I know what happened. Thinking in that, leaf nitrogen is, the, for me, is the main nutrient that you can use to control. That affects the fruit set and potential size. And remember, nitrogen means grow. Nitrogen means leaves, means shoot. We talk about the spring flash. We talk about the beginning of the season, the flowering. Keep in mind, from bad break, the spring flash take 50 days, 50 days to be a real factory, a real contribution. Okay? I have to apply if I'm seeing a huge amount of flower, a lot of leaf drop, and no spring flash. Can I apply nitrogen in that time? Sure, we need to apply nitrogen. Sure, the tree is not in balance. Remember, the least fruit ratio. At least I need 15 leaves per fruit. 15 leaves per fruit to get a good avocado, good size, good quality. Minimum 15. What I say minimum? Because probably I need more if I'm looking at on year. Because I know on year means less shoot grow, less root grow, next year less flower. There is a new information that is supporting that idea. Best result using nitrogen, April, flowering, 
November flower bud development for next flowering. July and August. What happened in July and August? Do you know what is happening in our avocado tree? I will show you what is happening during July and August. The other thing, we saw what happened in our own year, off year. Look here. Completely different. The tree is probably this tree used all his reserve. He spent all his energy in this huge amount of flower and sap. There is no energy to recover. Next year, without any management, this tree will be resting. No flower. And sometimes, if it's too much, the tree needs two years. Two years without crop. Okay? And if you look at this tree, the opposite, completely different. Just a few amount of flower. Look the size of the leaves. Look the, the, this is spring flash. It's too much energy available for just a few amount of flower and finally a few set. The nutrient approach, the fertilization, for sure will be different. The pruning will be different. The intensity of the pruning, the timing of the pruning, completely different. If you think next year, I won't have flower. Could be a good idea remove part of this, this flower, pruning during flowering because it's too much. Here, I have to delay my flower. You know what happened? In this situation, the workers cannot see the fruit. When I say, okay, in this situation, you have to do this. The main concern is, Gerardo, we cannot see the fruit. It's difficult to see. We, can, we cannot select the branch. Okay, wait. Wait until to see the fruit. Delay the, delay the pruning. I know from the technical point of view when is the best time. But we have to arrive, we have to reach a to a simple, very simple recommendation. Like, just cut one leaf without fruit. Or cut one limb full of fruit, full of new crop, but no leaves, no spring flash. Remove. I mentioned root flash is very important. Remember, it's a cycle. That means flowering, spring flash, first root flash. If there is not enough spring flash, you won't get enough root flash, the first root flash of the season. And it's so important because that root flash is the support of the summer flash. If that is not enough, it will be impossible to get enough summer flash. Okay? Shallow feeder root. Just mention after be working here 12 years. Remember that many told us about what happened during flowering. If I'm, I'm, I am not sure about the condition of my flowering, or I'm afraid because the weather forecast say next week will be warmer, I can use the irrigation to avoid problems. I can use the irrigation to keep the, the hydric status inside the tree in my flowers. 
in my new, in my new crop. I can do that, okay? Remember, just increasing the, the frequency of the irrigation. I am not, I am not saying use more, more water, no. Use the same amount of water, the same, exactly the same, but more frequent. I mean, if you are irrigating 10 hours every 15 days during flowering, I will say, irrigate five hours. If you can, sure, five hours every week, once a week. The same, sure will be better to support the flowering and to support all the biological process that Mary Lou, that Mary Lou mentioned, okay? Water stress, inhibition of leaf growth, reduce number of flower, and abortion of young fruit. It's, for me, sometimes it's, it's very difficult to explain when the final set was not so good, okay? And you know, you can see a lot of fruit drop, but when we start the harvest, you can see many, many small fruit. If you see the stem, you can see a girling. And you know when what happened that? During flowering. When you open the fruit and you open the seed, you can see the embryo die. But die not close the harvest, die in the, end of the, in the end of the flowering. I mean, there is many, many, many um, situations that, uh, that I told you, we don't know really. Only we know, okay, we need good condition, around 70, 75 degrees, enough nutrient, enough water, but sometimes, I tell you, we cannot control everything, okay? Remember, leaves, leaves are the factory and roots, and root the control room. The root has a very good capacity if they are okay. But if they are not okay, they can send sign to the upper part of the tree, to the canopy, canopy to say, here the conditions are not good, you have to eliminate leaves, fruit, grow, but if they are right, they are keeping sending good sign to the upper part of the canopy, say, we are okay, just grow, Fruit set, no problem. Good size, we are perfect down here. Okay? Remember that. Completely opposite, completely opposite message. Many of you ask me this time, Gerardo, could, do you think we are in the end of the season? We are in November. Could it be possible to apply more nutrients? You know, the experts said if the soil temperature drops 50, the activity is too low, and the efficiency of the uptake, I know that. Look your root. And if you see, I, I took this picture two, three weeks ago. Look the quality, beautiful root, light brown, some of them growing white. And I say, you have time. You have enough root to get uptake. Nitrogen, zinc, potassium, you can do that, no problem. I mean, Probably, 
and for me sometimes happen the same. I forget to see, to check my root system. And only, only you should do just remove the leaves and to see what is happening. Okay? And to adjust, okay? That per se, the better uptake of sin is with root activity. I had perfect time to apply sin or boron or iron. And potassium, nitrogen, sure, sure. The roots are growing. Now we know that. The avocado is very, very sensitive to temperature. In Chile, we finished 2020 with 50% less crop compared to normal year. Was half. Why? When you see what happened during flowering 2019, we have problem. The main problem was too high temperature. During flowering, probably 50% of the day was close to 90 degrees. Yeah. Very, very sensitive. Reduces stress. Is a tree. Now we know the energy that the tree is spending during the season. If the tree is under stress, happen two main things. There is no energy production under stress, and the energy, the reserve, are going to try to keep the tree alive. I told you, the priority of the tree is growth. It's not production. Okay? Remember that. If the tree is under stress, I know I'm losing crop. I'm losing crop the actual year, or I'm losing crop the following year, or next year, but if it's under the stress, I'm losing. This is an example. This is the information. One grower got me that information because we saw a really poor set was in Arroyo Grande. He finished with a good crop, good trees, good amount of flower, but finally the set low. Look what happened. This is April. This is July. We know 50 degrees, below 50 degrees is not good for set. You can see the line. And we know about 85 is not good. Look what happened. This is the low temperature, and this is the high temperature. Look what happened from April until June. Look what happened with the night temperature. And look what happened during day temperature. And middle of June. There was not good condition for set. We had bees, good trees, good flower, good irrigation, good nutrition, but was too much. Probably 70%, 70% of the flowering belong bad temperature. Fruit size, always is a concern, fruit size. When we make the fruit size, when? 10 to 12 weeks after fruit set. After that, just you have to feel that you made during 
10, 12 weeks after sin. If we think, if we, if we consider a petal fall like the end of the set, and we know now 10 to 12 weeks, that means May, June, July. Mainly. May, June, July. What happened from the nutrition point of view in this time? Look what happened. The uptake of the new crop. July, August, September, October, nitrogen. July, August, September, October, potassium. It's taken a lot of potassium. But look what happened close to the harvest. April, May, June, July. My mature crop is taking nutrients. The same time, when my next crop is growing, the same time, if my decision was delay the harvest to try to get better price, look, what are you doing? You can take that decision. Yes, you can take, there is no problem. But you have to support the negative effect. There is a competition, sure. Your mature crop with your young crop, your new crop. If you see, the fruit is taking probably the same amount of nitrogen in the beginning of the fruit growth and in the end of the fruit growth. And look what happened with potassium. Probably is three times more. Will be important here to apply May, June, July nitrogen? Yes. And potassium? Sure. Look here. I put together the vegetative shoot and root growth and reproductive development. Look again. May. June, July. And look what is happening during the same period. Spring, shoot flash. And look, June, July. Summer, and root grow. I mean, the tree is, it's amazing that a tree can do in this moment, avocado tree, the new crop, the mature crop, finishing the flowering, finishing the first shoot, and make sense to say, you know, the avocado tree, why? There is a root flash. Because the avocado tree, naturally, is looking for food. Was too much energy. And now the avocado tree needs to recover. But look, very interesting. If our decision is to delay the harvest, here we have a mature crop, and the new crop, two crop. And we are making the third crop. We are seeing just only two, but we are making the third crop here in May, June, July. Three under stress in, in that time, probably you won't see effect on the new crop or mature crop. But I'm sure you will see effect the following spring, flowering. Look what it's doing, the avocado tree. From my point of view, you 
that I call the first part of the season, you are finishing the end of July, three crops. The end of July, not in August, not in September, not in October. If we are starting the flowering here, March, April, May, June, July, five months. That is our concern, five months. Look what is happening in the first five months. After that, just fruit grow, transition to floral development, and fall flush, and then second root flush. Remember this first part of the season. Try to put together all that information in a simple, try to use a simple way. I use this figure, phenological state, and the distribution of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. I use 100, just to use, that means, you know, 15 pounds or 50%. If your decision is applied less, more, is. 50%, okay? If we look, May, June, July, August. If you add this, we are applying 50% of the program in four months, or 60% sometimes. But why? I told you why. Potassium. July, August, September. June, July, August, September. Why? June, July, August, September. My new crop and my mature crop. Here I have an example. This is one of the grower that I am visiting. The decision uh, this year was uh, 155 pounds of nitrogen, that was the decision, and 125 pounds of, of uh, potassium. That was the decision. The decision was to encourage root growth. We use a canyon to encourage root growth in April, July, and October. Phos uh, uh, phosphorus acid, April, July, and September and humic acid, April and July. April, July, to create better condition for both root growth. That was the reason of humic acid. Keeping a good crop, he has a good crop again, probably a little bit more, and Two weeks ago, looking at the tree, we saw a very nice summer flash. That for me means we have enough location to get flower again next spring. Okay? That was the result of leaf analysis. Close to 2.6 percent. Always I like to be close to the high ratio. If I am above, it's better for me. Look the potassium, calcium, zinc. We took the decision to apply a little bit more this month because it's not enough. Boron, he's using boron. Is possible to apply? Yes, you could apply, no problem. And you know what was the first approach? If we did this, and we are seeing this result, the tree looks okay, the crop was good, the size was good, and now we are seeing another good crop, my first approach was you have to do the same next year. You have to do the same. 
And we'll see during the season if it's too much, less flowers, set, spring, summer flat, root grow, adjustment. No problem. But that was the decision. Was very easy. You know why? I have information. I have records. You have to keep records to take decision. If there is no numbers, if there is no data, you cannot take decision. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important. This is another example from other growers. Just I wanted to show you here how it's important to consider a this is avocado soil analysis. Always there is a lot of information, a lot. But you have to always look this guy and this guy. Why? Because the avocado don't like chloride, don't like sodium. And look what happened here. Look the chloride in the soil. And look the electric conductivity. 6.5. You know what conductivity means a stress on avocado? Do you know the number? Four. Four. Maximum. But I don't like to, to, keep, to put the avocado trees to be close to four. Maximum for me, two. And here, it's six, three times more. What was the decision? You have to start now leaching. Now leaching. And at least three times every 15 days. Okay? Soil analysis. Look sodium. Too high. Look the pH. 8.2. Hi. What was the decision? We have to apply gypsum against sodium. And for sure, we have to use sulfuric acid or sulfur burning, whatever, to reduce the pH. Remember, chloride, sodium. And sometimes this is not the case. In the water, for example, there is no nitrate. But sometimes, sorry, here, there is not too much nitrogen. But I have seen soil analysis with high concentrations of nitrogen. You can include that in your fertilization program? Yes, sure, you can do that. You, I can include the potassium. Sure, if there is potassium, you can do that. I can include zinc. Sure, no problem. I hope now we, we understand a little bit more what we have to do from the nutrition point of view, on year, off year, May, June, July, August, April. Now, light. Mary Lou told us, shade means delay flower female flower. Remember that. And the avocado, I mean the bees, I told you don't lie, fly under shade. Okay? Remember, high of the tree, no more than 70 to 80 percent of the distance between rows. No part of the tree canopy should be more than 6.5 feet to 8 feet from direct, direct sunlight. Remember that. I told you, timely is critical, is important. If my summer shoot is starting in June, and I have to stimulate summer shoot. I have to prune before June. If I prune now, November, if I'm pruning now, 
just I'm adjusting my tree size and I take in part of the summer shoot. I'm taking part of my next crop. But I told you, it's possible, yes, it's possible, especially if you have labor available. Just to show you an example, that is the idea, you have to keep open 30% of the space between rows completely open. You have to see the ground, the sunlight in the ground, what's happening on the road. Keep individuality. You have to, I like to use one, two, three, the opposite, four side of the tree for production, not two, not a his row, not two, four. I can increase my production surface two times, three times, just in the same acre. If it's crowded, only mm -hmm. have one acre production surface, just one acre, but I have plenty of, and using my side, I can increase three times, easy. Look here, that is the idea, open. And I, I like to see leaves from the top of the tree to the bottom of the tree, factories. Here, for sure I would like to be a bee flying here, Sure, nice, good temperature, good light, all the leaves working. No stress. Finally, no stress. Pruning can stimulate growth for good flowering to be used to reduce the ex excessive flowering. Yes, for me, it's the best position to start the season is to say, to have next to me the grower, look in the trees to say, you know, we can prune, we can remove flower, no problem. And what is the opposite? Is to say, just trying to explain the grower why there is no flower. Individual limbs, for me, I like that way, and I have seen good result. But remember, after the main pruning, it's very important to do regrow control. Most of you show me a good main pruning without regrow control. And after two years or three years, we are seeing the same size tree. It's very important to keep your, the benefit or your main pruning, if your decision was to remove one branch, one limb, to keep that beautiful window recovering inside the tree. Uh, but to achieve that, you have to control the regrowth. I told you before, what is the natural reaction of the avocado tree? Grow, just grow. just to have an idea. I can do three cut in one season. Yes, you can do that. Or just, you know, Gerardo, I'm afraid because there is not too much leaves here and I would like to compensate my crop. I can cut, I can do just one. Yes, sure. The tallest. If, if there is a lateral branch growing into the into the interrow space or into the neighbor tree. Every tree, every ranch is different. Here, the decision was remove just only one. Look the regrow, look the fruit here. The tree is recovering inside. This looks better. And look here, a water shoot. Vigorous grow, trying to get light. What is the decision? Remove. Remove to keep all this balance grow. Look here, I told you, this is the beginning of the flowering. Look here, it's too much. It's too much flower. 
What was the decision? Remove. Can you see? Remove part of the flower. Okay. Look here. The same. It's too much. Better balance here. No. This is, is this is unbalanced branch. Just flower, no leaves, no growth. Remove. Look the tree. Enough room to recover, enough room to get a very nice summer flash and to get the same amount of flower the following season. Look here, flowering. Flower, 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 but it's too big. I need room because I know the avocado tree grows three, four feet a year, but I don't like to have the three, four feet here. I prefer to try to stimulate here. Look the decision. Two big cat in the beginning of the season. Easy to do. Why? Plenty of flower. Plenty of flower. And enough time to recover all this section or to promote very nice growth and to have the same amount of flower but the same size tree. No flower. Pruning too, sure, I have to start the balance. Look here, one limb, one year, the next year, another limb. Look the flower. Sometimes you have to design a process. It's not just in one time, I mean one year, one season. One, two, three years. Look here, this grower is finishing, I think he started two years ago. One lean first, growing into the interroot space, I mean, but sure, next season, if we have a good amount of flower, the third and final step, topping. Why? Because I have enough leaves here, lower, to compensate the production. The other thing that probably I know you, you, some of you are using, but you have to know that it's very important. If I'm making this kind of cat, I have to be sure to have enough flower and to try to keep the crop because you know it's expensive that, to do that. Uh, one of the tools that I like to use is curling. Curling just is cutting the bar around the branch. And what did the target? is increased flowering. That uh, was a, is a trial done for a good friend in Australia, Gurland Branch. He got 77 fruit, average size, weight, sorry, 265 grams. Non Gurland Branch, 30 fruit, 275. You can increase your fruit number, yes. But you are reducing a little bit your size. Okay? Remember that. You have to think how can I avoid that problem, that negative effect of the girling. Because I like to have flower every year, but I know the girling is affecting the size. Okay? Look here, it's a very good example. The girling was here. Just 50% of the tree with flower and the other 50% ready for next spring. One crop, two crop. Two crop in the same tree. In the beginning of the season. That is the girling. That is the effect. You can see the fruit. Some of you ask me if if it's possible to do girlin using the same branch, just I wanted to show you here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look the amount of fruit and look how healthy is the branch. Is possible? Yes, it's possible. It's not a rule, girlin, harvest, pruning. No. When we start with girlin many years ago, yes. We thought probably it's good to remove. But after that, we saw, look, but the branches, so some of the branches look very nice. 
We can use it again for production, sure. Keep in mind, I have seen, probably for me, the main reason is global warming. I have seen many, many, probably increasing in different countries, uh, disease, pest, low fruit set, low amount of flour, but one of the main diseases is Phytophthora. And visiting here, I can say it's increasing. Okay? It's increasing. And you know, there is many very effective tools to use. But what has been the, what's, what is the problem? Many of you don't use that tool. Okay? Keep in mind, and you know, good drainage, some fungicide is coming, is coming a new fungicide, trunk injection, foliar spray, mulching. Remember the time, the right time for foliar spray? The other, the other disease that is increasing every year is avocado branch canker, Botrius paedia. Remember, so far I haven't seen try dying by Botrius paedia, but I don't, I don't like the idea to see that, okay? Remember the preventive disinfect pruning tool between each tree. I hope will be available, I don't know, in one year or two years, a fungicide against this uh, disease. What's a secondary disease? Now it's a primary disease. Careful. Look the symptoms. Look the symptoms. And that disease like heat stress. He's waiting for heat stress. It's in everywhere. It's in the avocado tree, but just waiting the right moment. Harvest. I told you from the, from the technical point of view what is, why it's important to pick early the fruit. Cover the orchard size picking. Technical point of view, before you, okay? Alternative, early harvest branch. You can paint one branch, harvest and pruning, and keep all the fruit, the rest of the fruit on the canopy if you want to, if you want to enjoy the, the, the medium or late part of the market. I'm finishing here, try I put all in these stacks together just to give you that information. It's a guidelines, is the navigation map, the avocado navigation map to use. You have to know what is happening in every month. You have to know what should happen the next month to be ready. Irrigation, nutrition, pruning, pest control, disease. That is the idea. I told you. Just until June, I can control my tree size and crop low. But now you know why July, August, September, just tree size. It's too late to control the crop. And remember, regrow control. If you want to try girling, you have time to do some trial if you want to see the result. Remember the beehives during flowering good condition during flowering, enough light, good irrigation, good nutrition, good pruning, no stress. If you, if you are seeing good result with plant growth regulator, pro-GIV, GIV, gibberellic acid, remember. Look, avoid competition with avocado flower. Why March, April, May? Because it's flowering and set. And I would like to have all my bees working on avocado trees, avocado flower. No nutty flower, no wheat flower. Mm -hmm. Phosphonate, Phytophthora. 
Mm -hmm. I hope this will help you. You can, you can adjust, you can add more labor, but that is the idea. Okay, the, navigate, the avocado navigation map. Thank you. Thank you. Question? Too much question? <laughs> those, those last two charts you showed with the calendar, would those be any different for Janice? Will be, will be very, very similar. All we are learning about gems, if you ask me so far, the, the big difference that I am seeing is the, we have to do some adjustment from the nutrition point of view. Okay, probably you know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably all we are agree, gem needs 20, 30%, I don't know, 50% more, more, especially for me, nitrogen. But in this visit, I was discussing about the timing too, okay? Um, and prob probably, just, just it's, it's one idea, probably we have to start earlier than has to apply nitrogen if we have good condition, especially the soil temperature, okay? But in general, it's almost the same. Yeah, it's almost the same. Mm -hmm.